Hello, fighter survivors and thrivers. Welcome to the Cancer Show. It is Cancer Tip Tuesday. So I started doing uh, cancer tips throughout my treatment, and then I started sharing them as soon as I had uh, finished. I guess it was after my last surgery. I'm a stage three colon cancer fighter survivor and thriver. Hi, Karen. Karen, I was just thinking about you. I'm like, I have to send a message to Karen. <laughs> and Karen, just be aware, there's a lot of people in my house right now, so it might be noisy, <laughs> but we're not meditating. Um, okay, so I started uh, doing two things uh, during treatment that I wanted to share with you, my group, who had not actually... Um, I mean, I was, I don't think I was even on, I was barely on Facebook. That was 2012. So anyways, I started doing cancer tips and then, um, I started doing, uh, wows, which were words of wisdom. So today for uh, cancer tip Tuesday, I, um, the title of my post is dear visitors. And there's also a short, um, little clip as well. So I'm just going to read the clip and then we can uh, talk about it, the text. So, dear visitors, we welcome you. We appreciate you. We love you. But as much as we want to chat until visiting hours are over, we are not able or ready for conversations that last longer than 20 to 30 minutes max. We are tired, we are in pain, and we are medicated. Although we know you mean well and we want you to stay, we simply cannot keep our eyes open. It takes energy to converse and we need and we need every ounce of strength to get better and get out so we can meet for tea, coffee, brunch, lunch, dinner, or drinks as soon as we are back into our new, improved, post-cancer healthy selves. It is not personal. It is not personal. It's just post-op cancer. So... When we want to use our manners and be polite and we say, please don't go or please sit, stay, please do not listen <laughs> because we do not know what we're talking about. Remember, we are tired, we are in pain, and we are drugged with love, your special super cancer patient friend. Okay, so this came about because, you know, I'm, I'm Canadian. I'm originally from Vancouver. British Columbia and Canadians are very polite. We are taught from a young age to be very polite. And so, um, I would have people come into my room and stay there for a long time. And I was so exhausted, but I didn't want to ask them to go. And I felt, um, obligated to keep the conversation going. So I'm, I'm like one of those people who, if you're in the elevator with, I'm the person that starts the conversation. Yeah, that's me. I'm the one that, not so much about the weather, but I'll find something because for me, it's, it's more uncomfortable to stand in an elevator with another human being and not say anything, or they're looking at their phone or, you know, they're looking at their shoes. Um, Ireland. Yes. You guys are very polite in Ireland as well. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Um, or you're just representing Ireland. You know, my grandparents are from Ireland, so we definitely have a connection. Phelan, oh Phelan, they dropped the O when they, you know, they came to our to Canada. So my name is actually Alison Lovina O Phelan. Yes, that's true. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I have to have connection if there's there are people there. So I'm not talking about like if it was, you know my mother, you know, family members or your husband or, your spouse or whatever, your children. But I felt, felt like I had to, you know, accommodate them. And if there was like no talking in between, I'd want to fill it because I can talk a lot. I can, my daughter says that I could like win a contest, a talking contest. <laughs> and um, I'm okay with that. I also like to listen. I am a cancer coach. I like to talk, but I also like to listen. So, um, so I would just be so exhausted by the time that my visitors left. 
and I love them so much for taking the time and effort to come and be with me. But, you know, at the same time, that, that, that is not good when you're trying to heal. You have to sleep. You have to rest. So if, if, you, if it's in the hospital or, you know, it's, it's post-surgery um, or it's chemo um, or you're, you're home after chemo that first week especially, you know, you need, you need to, um, have either, either, you know, say something like, oh, you know, it's been so wonderful, uh, talking with you, thank you for, so much for coming, but I'm so tired, I can't keep my eyes open, or, you know, maybe have somebody that's, you know, cheering for you, your, your spokesperson say, you know, I, I just only have you, I, I only have you, I can't, you know, we're only having uh, um, visitors for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes at a time. So that takes the pressure off. And if you're like super blonde, you could just say, hey, get out. <laughs> you're probably not going to do that unless it's a joke. I mean, what's that, uh, aren't that famous saying? Um, um, jesting. There's a lot of jesting in truth. What is the saying? Karen, oh, well, the Irish is in there. Your family probably kissed the Brillard. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Um, I love it. Um, often a true word said in jest. So, I mean, most people know, but sometimes, you know, they forget they're in the moment as well. So, um, just, you know, don't be afraid to tell them how you're feeling and allow them the opportunity to leave because they may be thinking, oh, I don't want to leave him. I don't want to leave her. I don't want to leave them alone because they probably, you know, need some support or maybe they're, you know, they're, they're scared or they don't, you know, we don't know what they're thinking either. They may, they may think they're doing us a service and maybe at that point, maybe you've been in the hospital for five days and you don't want somebody to stay for an hour or two. But that's different. I'm talking about in the beginning or when you're not feeling well. Um, I mean, this it even brings me back to when I was um, having my children and I had my, my daughter. I had C-sections for both. I wanted to have regular, but that was just not possible. Um, anyways... Um, I was really, really ill, like ill for like 24 hours. I didn't want anybody to see me like that. It was a disaster. It was a mess. And one of my friends insisted on seeing me. And I was like, you know, I was getting sick. I like, I want, you know, I needed my privacy at that time. I didn't, I felt so terrible. It looked so terrible, you know, that kind of surgery. And then you're nauseous and it's horrible. So, um... Yeah, I, I, I did my best to like get some time alone, but it was very nice of this person to come visit me. They came a long way and I'm glad that I got to see them. Um, but anyways, stand up, you know, and speak or have someone else speak for, for you, but don't have too many visitors at one time and keep it short so that you can focus on healing, focus on yourself, and focus on resting. Resting is a huge, huge point in healing, allowing our body to rest and to recuperate. All right, so that's it for Cancer Tip Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow, um, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time um, for Cancer Centric Workout Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs> um, I do my best. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, we're going to do a low impact class. There's a little bit of row, like high impact at the end, but that can be modified. But this is for cancer fighters, survivors, and thrivers. Come join me. We have some fun. We have some laughs. We, you know, get moving, move our bodies, and we do it together. And it's it's really fun. So I will see you tomorrow, 11 a.m. And I wish you a good night's sleep or a beautiful day or a beautiful morning, depending on where you are at in the world, in the world wide web. And um, I just want to 
to thank you for joining me and I hope this tip was, was helpful. If you have something to add to that or you have a tip that you would like to share, please put that in the comments below. Five in the morning and still in bed. Karen, you got to join the 5 a.m. club. You know about this? The 5 a.m. club, it's a book. You can see uh, some of my posts about it. I get up at 5 a.m. and I'm in the 5 a.m. club. I own the morning, as um, Robin Sharma says, own your morning. Um, okay, so um, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Karen, you have a beautiful day. I'll hopefully see you later. And um, thank you so much for watching, for joining, and for supporting. It's my honor and um, such, a, such a joy to serve. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Thanks so much.